Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Jasmine, aka Dasha Jazz, and I talk about cooking, traveling, and living well. Today we're in my kitchen because I'm going to share my homemade rosé recipe with you. It is frozen rosé for those who don't know, and it's, I mean, just peak summertime refreshment and enjoyment that is if you're of legal drinking age, of course. Um, listen, I know that the temperature's rising, the streets are calling our names, you wanna get out, I wanna get out. Um, but if I'm being honest, I'm over 30 and I am mindful of my budget. So I'm not turning up outside my own four walls every time. Sometimes the agenda is kicking back where I pay bills and enjoying the homemade cocktail to the sounds of Megan Thee Stallion and the City Girls. So if that is the move for you from time to time too, uh, you're in luck because rosé is surprisingly easy to make at home. You only need three ingredients in a blender, so let's get into the recipe. This is truly all you need for the recipe. A bottle of rosé that is super chilled, I mean ice cold, almost frozen, but not quite. Um, I'm using Apothic, I'm not necessarily partial to this brand, but I have found that sweet, juicy rosés work really well in this recipe. But if you're more partial to dry, feel free to go with that. Um, anything that you could really grab at a grocery store or liquor store is gonna work fine. Next, strawberry. You can see I'm using fresh strawberries today, but this recipe works best when both the pineapples and the strawberries are frozen. You can get away with just one being frozen and one being fresh though, but using all fresh fruit will result in a kind of soupy texture, so just keep that in mind. Actually making the frosé takes under two minutes if you're starting with prepped fruit. Add the strawberries to your blender, followed by your pineapple chunks. And my blender only holds like a half recipe at a time, so I'm using half the amount of strawberries, half the amount of pineapples, and then I'm gonna pour in half of this bottle of rosé. If you have a bigger blender, you can probably make everything in one go. Otherwise, I recommend separating it out into two batches. Uh, now I'm going to pour the rosé over top of the fruit, simply press the button, and let the blender do its thing. This recipe makes six servings of rosé. As I mentioned, I cut it in half to show you because my blender only holds about half. So I'm pouring this into two tall glasses and then I'll have about another glass full left over in the blender for later. Um, you can see that the texture is really smooth, it's frosty, it's almost like a wine slushy or like an alcoholic smoothie is the best way I can describe it. So I'm gonna garnish these with some paper straws, just for fun, and of course I'm gonna snap some photos. I wanna make the presentation as beautiful as possible for y'all. Uh, fresh slices of strawberries are optional, and then these little pineapple fronds, or leaves, I'm not actually sure what they're called, um, but I will tell you that I took them off pineapples in the grocery store. And that, is how you make rosé at home. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more recipes like this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave any questions you have in the comments. I promise to get back to you ASAP. Last thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I put out fresh recipes and content like this every single week. Thank you for watching.